that up and yeah, if you like anything, hit it up. All right, with that being said, let's see what we got on the drip today. I don't even know what I'm saying, man. Come on, dog. All right, whatever, man. Here we go. Item number one, we got this vintage single stitch rose. This thing is kind of like crumbly, man. This thing is old. It's like that. You know, remember how they used to make the tees back in the days? They used to make them with that thick coating. Yeah, it's kind of crumbling off, as you can see right there. But it is single stitch, and it does say Ohio on there. It has a little Ohio font right there. Boom, rose. And yeah, man, this is super sick. I remember when they used to make, uh, they put like that thick layer of paint on there, or whatever that stuff is called. That's cool. But look at that, single stitch. Boom. And it is from Fruit of a Loom. It is a size large. So go out there and cop if you dig this. Like, it's, this is so sick. Like, the older it gets, the more it's gonna peel, the more it's gonna look retro. Which I, I, I don't know, I love that shit. I love that shit about this t-shirt. I wish it was my size, I would probably keep it, but I'm not from Ohio, and yeah. It's just, like, I'm pretty sure someone from Ohio is gonna appreciate this way more than I do. All right, that's, that's item number one. Item number two, this is, what is this? Um, I don't even know what this is. I just got it because it's kind of like like a horror. I like horror stuff. I don't know if you guys are into horror movies and stuff like that. This is like a, I don't know, this is probably like a haunted house. It is from Las Vegas. It says Las Vegas right there. And it is from the Freaklin Bros. The Trilogy of Terror. The Trilogy of Trailer of Terror. And on the back, it does say... Making death painful since 1992. Also, they've been around since 92. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this is a size large as well. Oh, and these two t-shirts, because that one's vintage and this one's like new, the measurements are totally different. The measurements are way different. So make sure to look at the measurements before you just buy anything. Like you can just go in your closet and measure one of your most, one of the, not, not your favorite tee, but like a t-shirt that fits you well. The t-shirt that, that you like, how it fits you the best. And then measure that and then compare it to stuff that you're gonna buy online. You know what I mean? Just get a tape measure or whatever. All right, next up we got this. Um, I don't know if this, no, this is not vintage. This is not single stitch. I wanna say this is probably early 2000s. Or is this single stitch? Oh yeah, it's this single, yeah, it is single stitch. It's single stitch up here. Oh, that's what I thought, okay. It's single stitch up here, so it's probably 90s. This is a 90s tee. But then down here is double stitched, which is kind of, which is kind of weird. It's double stitched down here, and it does have this, uh, this little patch right here that says crazy shirts. Crazy shirts, and it is a San Francisco with a bunch of cats on there. B. Williams, I think. I, I don't know who does this. I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to pronounce that, that guy's name right there, but... B. K. Williams? I don't know. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. And it is like a San Francisco... And then it's double-sided too. It's double-sided as well. Boom. But on the back side, you don't get the... You don't get the San Francisco. You don't get the guy's signature. But it's still cool. Still a cool tee. And it comes in a nice red. Yeah, dude, I didn't know. I didn't know it was vintage. I, I didn't think it was vintage, but it is vintage. It is from the. It is from the 90s. Cause so it has single stitch at least on the. It has single stitch at least on the. On the sleeves, but down here, I looked at it. I was like, what the fuck? It's double stitch. So I can't. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys know, comment down below, cause I really don't know. I'm gonna have to do more research on that one, but I think it is vintage. All right, next up we got this. We got a lot of stuff, man. We gotta hurry up, man. I wanna turn on this AC so bad. You don't even know. I'm fucking thirsty as well. All right, here we go. Another next up, we got this. Um, what is it? Bike Week 2009 from Colorado. Colorado Bike Week 2009. Bam. Here's the back. Boom. Look at that. That bulldog just riding a motorcycle. Bunch of flies. He hitting a bunch of flies with his flashlight or with his light. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. This is a size large, 2009, Bike, Bike Week, Colorado. This next one is a thermal for the ladies. So if you're into Harley Davidson, I got the perfect thermal for you. This is a size large for the ladies, and this is from 1994. This is a 1994 thermal. Boom. It's kind of like a crop top thermal. 
It does have Harley Davidson right there. Size large. Harley Davidson down the sleeves. And on the back, what does it say? It says, A Way of Life, Colorado as well. Denver, Colorado. Rocky Mountains, oh shit, the Rocky Mountains. Rocky Mountains, oh. I don't even, I don't even think I put that in the listing. I have to go back and put that in the listing. Rocky Mountains, boom. Isn't that where that beer's from? The Rocky Mountains, the, isn't that beer, that one that comes in the green bottle? I don't know. Next up, we got this, we bought this, I bought this uh, thing, I picked it up at the, what, the flea market. And this is from a car club right here in Southern California. This is a car club from Styles. Styles Car Club. Boom, I think this is like 90s, this, like a 90s baseball tee. This is pretty big, this is a pretty big tee. It's a pretty big, it doesn't have a size on, it doesn't have a size on there. I just measured it out though. And it does have the name Anthony on there. You can probably switch it out. But this is dope, man. I, I used to like, I used to follow, I used to, well, I have a bunch of uh, lowrider magazines from the from the 90s, 80s, and yeah, so I, I'm all into like lowrider, lowriders, but I've, well, I've never been able to afford a lowrider, but maybe one day. But yeah, maybe one day I'll fucking be able to be in a car club. I'll be able to be in a car club, but until then, yeah, we just selling this drip. Look at that, look at what I'm rocking today. We're rocking that vintage Dr. Pepper. That, oh, what the hell's going on? Oh, someone's messaging me. Pepsi, Sunkiss, and some guy named Lane. We rocking that old school. All right. Next up, we got this um, Har another Harley Davidson tee. Harley Davidson tee. Damn, we got we stepping up. We stepping it up on the Harley Davidson tees. Boom. Harley Davidson in that nice death metal font. Boom, baby. And this one is from Bangkok, Thailand. Bangkok, Thailand. There is no year on this shirt, so I do not know what year this is from, but I want to say it's probably maybe early 2000s, maybe 90s. No, definitely not 90s, but early 2000s for sure. Boom. Bangkok, Th Bangkok Thailand t-shirt. All right, next up, we got this, um, oh man, it's, uh, this, this, this shirt kind of makes me sad. This shirt kind of makes me sad, I'm not going to lie. It's, we got the, the Mayweather versus Canelo. Mayweather versus Canelo shirt. And it says right here on the on the on the on the on the, on the, on the chest it says, Who's the one? Obviously Mayweather won. Canelo wasn't paying attention and got suckered punched like crazy. And on the back you do get their both faces boom. All blasted in the back. Crazy style, homie. Crazy style. God damn it, this is a size 2XL. 2XL, and if you want to rock this, hit that motherfucking D pop up. You already know, you already know. We out here slanging this vintage. All right. All right, next up, we got this. Um, I don't know if you guys are into Ramstein, but we got a, a Ramstein 2012 t-shirt tour i mean tour t-shirt this is the back this is the back right here we're gonna start with the back boom ramstein t-shirt boom 2012 north american tour they went to anaheim they went to glendale they went to denver they went to dallas they went to san antonio and they went to houston in 2012 baby ramstein that's what we talking about that's what we talking about hit that motherfucking d pop up two x is it two xl did i say two xl what size is this this is a size, oh no, this is an extra large. This is just an extra large. Extra large. Check the measurements on the Depop if you're interested. All right, next up, we got this, um, I don't know how, to, I don't know. I guess it's real. I guess you could call it real. I don't, I don't fucking know, but I know fucking, I don't know why Kanye West fucking prints his shit sometimes on fucking, on uh, Gildan, Gildan tags. So anybody can just bootleg this shit. So I'm not even sure if it's real or not, but boom. I feel like Pablo Longsleeve. I feel like Pablo Longsleeve, bro. There it is. Check out. I don't know if I, if I close it up. Will you be able to tell if it's real or not? I don't fucking know. Who, who the fuck knows, dog? Who the fuck knows, man? There you guys go. I want to say it's real because, I mean, 
Because you... yeah, because yeah, because I want to say three. I don't know. I don't know. I really have no fucking. I really have no way of telling that. Like, as to as I'm pretty sure nobody else does either. But whatever, man. Fuck it. I feel like Paulo. Shirt. Sure, there it is. All right. Next up, we got this rare Paul McCartney from 2016 Tour T. This one, I, I tried looking it up everywhere. I could not find the same exact tea like this. Bam, Paul McCartney. Boom, the Beatles, homie. Let's come together. Uh, I don't even know. I'm not the biggest Beatles fan, but I, I, do look, I do like their music. I just don't know the lyrics. Paul McCartney. One on one tour. Uh, this is from Sacramento, California. 2016, October 4th and 5th. Golden One Center. I've never been there. Maybe one day I'll be able to go there. Or maybe one day I'll be able to perform there. Who knows, baby? Who knows? Alright, next up. If you guys follow uh, Slobby Robbie, you guys know Slobby's World and shit. I don't know if you guys seen that shit on Netflix. That shit is fire. Well, he does a lot of, he finds a lot of bootleg Gucci. But I got this bootleg Versace, boy. I got this bootleg Versace. It says, all embroidered. It says, young Versace. And look at that Medusa head. And then on the side, it does have these pinstripes, these gold pinstripes. But on some of them, they're scuffed up. Like right there, it's kind of scuffed. And up here, it's kind of... Kind of like fuck, cause this is all DUI, bro. Just look at that. Look at that one. That one's kind of fucked up too. But that's what you like about that vintage. Look at that vintage heat, dog. That vintage. Even on the back, it's speckled out. Speckled out. Man, looks like you're fucking walking into a into the galaxy. Look at the stars, baby. Look at the stars. You're fucking falling in love with me. Oh! And this tag is by. I don't even know what that is, but. It's not, it's not Versace, I can tell you that, it's not Versace, this is that bootleg, this is that bootleg Versace. It's, uh, it's what the, everybody's going crazy for that bootleg shit right now. Alright, next up we got this, uh, single stitch from, what year is this from? I forgot, this year, this shirt is pretty old though. This shirt is from 1985, 1985 baby, 1985, this is, what does it say? The world's worst weather. This is from the of the world's worst weather tea. Bam. So if you survive that shit, you're a fucking badass. And that's all I got to say about that. And bam, single stitch, baby, single stitch on the bottom as well. And this is on a ooh screen stars best. Boom, size large, baby, size large. That tag always fucking gives me a raging boner every time I see that tag. I'm like, fuck yeah, I found something fucking gnarly. All right, next up, we got this, um, oh, this thing is just like, it's kind of like a new HT. I just thought it was cool because, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a person to do drugs. I don't, I, don't, I hardly even smoke weed. I, I drink, I drink. You guys know that I drink, but as for doing drugs, I really don't do drugs. And we got this Rip and Dip. I just thought it was super cool. Rip and Dip um, shirt with a cat on it, and he's just fucking taking a tab of acid. He's just getting fucking fucked up. Look at that, he's freaking out and shit. And down here, it does have a, a patch down here. Oh wait, it's on the other side. Uh, it does have a patch down here. Boom, rip and dip. Patch, this is a size medium. And this is made in, made in USA, size medium. Boom, oh, on the back, the back, boom. Can't forget about the back, the huge. Giant acid tab taking cat right here, all sweating balls and shit, sweating bullets. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Look at his fucking veins as well, man. God damn, this cat looks fucked up, bro. God damn, this thing looks like it's about to have a heart attack. But, hey, man, if you dig it, you dig it. You rock it, you rock it. All right, next up, we got this um, vintage canteen single stitch shirt. This is for like a promotion tee when canteen first came out and shit. Remember the canteens? Yeah, it's probably early 80s. I mean, this late 80s, late 80s, early 90s tee right here. Boom. Look at that. Single stitch canteen. On the back, nothing. Tag, extra large. Boom. This is a sick shirt. This is a sick shirt. 
It's a vintage white tea. White tea, baby. All right, next up we got this Obama tea from 2012. This is when they're when he was about to get reelected. Boom. 2012, reelect Barack Obama. Yeah, president. 2012, on the back, it does say, yes, he can do it again. Yes, he can do it again. And you know what? He did do it again. And he was a badass president. All right, next up, we got this, um, I, mean, I don't even know if I, I fucking lose show it. Crooks and Castles tea. Uh, like, you see, like, a, I don't know, was that, like, vintage camera on there? Crooks and Castles times Toyo Tires. Crooks and Castles and Toyo Tires. I don't know what Toyo, uh, to, I guess they're just car tires. That's what they are, right? Car tires. Um, why would you do a collaboration with tires? Yes, man. I guess. I guess if you're like a drifter, I guess if you're like a drift person that drifts a lot, you might want that. All right, next up we got this um, Banar. Is that how you say this? Banar is like a fucking uh, ban. Uh, this is like a festival. Banaru. Oh, Banaru. Oh, Banner. Banaru. Is that how you say it? Banaru? From 2014, it's like a crazy festival. It's kind of like Coachella, or kind of like work tour, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's only like one tour. It's not like a, it's not like a tour. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a crazy ass concert. It's kind of like Coachella, I guess. But this one is in, where is it at? Oh, Michigan. Oh, it's from Manchester. What? Manchester, Tennessee. Oh, it's from Manchester, Tennessee. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I've never, I've never heard of this place. I, the only reason I bought it is because on the back it says that Kanye West performed, Elton John performed, Jack White performed, Lionel Richie, Vampire Weekend. Damn, Vampire Weekend. I remember them. They're cool. Were not they always talking about coke though? were not they always singing about coke? Yeah. This is a size, what's that? I think it's an XL. I think that's an XL. Next up, we got this crazy ass scarf from Tommy Hilfiger with that embroidered spell out. Tommy Hilfiger, embroidered spell out. It still has the tags on it. Still got the motherfucking tag on it. And yeah, it's pretty fat too. Like it's pretty huge too, man. This is just half of it. This is just half of it. I can still unfold it one more time. But this is just half of it. A nice blue colorway for that. I mean, it's almost summer. It's pretty much summer already, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to sell that till next year. But I do have it in stock. I do have it in stock. Next up, we got this. Um, God damn, are we even halfway done? Holy shit, I'm getting tired. I'm getting my throat, my throat, my throat, guys. It's dying. I'm fucking dying out, man. I'm dying out. All right, here we go. Fuck it. All right. The Badgers, 2012, Rose Bowl. Bam. The back. Look at that shit. Fucking sick ass fucking piece, dog. Look at the, look, look at just uh, how it looks, man. Fucking sick. Double sided. And this is Rose Bowl official merch. Boom, baby, boom. Size large. If you want it, come get it. If you don't want it, don't buy it. But please buy it. Alright, next up we got this, um, fucking, uh, what is this? What the hell is this? Oh, uh, Brad Paisley? Brad Paisley? I don't know who that is. But anyways, I just like the graphic. It has a moonshine. I don't know if you guys have ever tried moonshine. I remember I tried moonshine once. I don't know if it was legit moonshine because it just said it was like branded and they sell it at fucking food for life, so I'm pretty sure it's not real moonshine. I have never tried real moonshine. If anybody has a connect for real moonshine, hit me up! Put that shit in the motherfucking comments! Alright, Bad Paisley Whiskey, what? What is this? Moonshine in the trunk. Moonshine in the trunk. And this is a tour tea, I guess. Tour tea, boom, all the dates, everything, you guys get it. This is a size small. It's a size small. So if you're a fucking size small, I got something for you too, man. I got something for you too. I'm pretty sure this is country music. 
I'm not really into country music like that, but if anybody out there is, go ahead and cop. All right, next up we got this vest. All leather, fucking high quality vest. God damn, this thing weighs like at least like three pounds, maybe two pounds. God damn, this shit has some weight to it. Look at that, all nice leather. This is like high quality leather, bro. Look at that, you can feel the fucking high ass on this shit. Look at the fucking, like you can fucking, you can smell the fucking leather on this fucking thing. This is fucking some crazy ass shit. Look at the fucking, look at the, look at the stitching work on there too. Look at the buttons, look at everything on there. This is crazy, man. This is a size XL. Shit. Boom, boom. God damn. This is like a... He use that as a fucking saddle. Alright, next up we got this, um... This is crew neck from 1988. It's a vintage 1988 crew neck. Look at that. Look at the patch. 1988. And this is from the brand United Colors. United Colors and does have this guy skiing on skiing on some shit. Skiing on some snow, I guess. United Colors are cracked up because it's from 1988. And this is an, a large. Boom, boom, boom. This is from the annual tournament. From an annual tournament they used to have back in the days, I guess some skiing tournament that they used to throw down. Whoa! All right, oh. All right, next up we got these baggy ass fucking jeans. Like if you guys remember fucking uh, what was it called? Anchor Blue. You guys remember Anchor Blue? You know how they used to have like regular cut and. Straight cut, and they had baggy, and they had beyond baggy. You guys remember beyond baggy fucking jeans from fucking Anchor Blue? Well, this is pretty much beyond baggy jeans, but these are from fucking Narcata. Nar- I can never say this fucking name, dude. Narcata? 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 Nar- Narcata? I don't fucking know. This shit, this fucking brand, you guys know it. You guys know it. Narcata? Fucking stupid ass name. Whatever. Look at this shit. Look how fucking fat these things are, dog. God damn, my whole fucking face gets covered in this shit. God damn, look how fucking baggy this shit is, dog. God damn, dog. I can fit my whole fucking body on one fucking leg. Down there, dog. This thing is fucking huge. All right, next up, we got some more jeans. These are also vintage. These are also old school. These are Kelvin Klein. These are for the ladies right here, and these are not fucking baggy. These are made in USA. Made in US motherfucking A. These are a size. These are a size ten. Size ten. Look at that nice thick slab of fucking leather you get. Look at that. They don't do that shit no more. They don't be doing that shit no more, huh? That'll run up the budget. Even look at the buckle right here. I mean the fucking, the, the, this thing. Look at that CK. What's kind of backwards, right? Let's try to twist it. There you go. CK, baby, CK. And look at this. this is, these are pretty skinny, so. Yeah, these would be nice. These would be nice. These would be nice. Go out there and cop if you fucking want to stunt with that vintage. Want to start with that vintage? Make sure to hit up that D-pop. All right, next up, we got this crew neck from motherfucking um, Sacramento State. Sacramento State crew neck sweater. This is from a brand called Gear for Sports. Gear for Sports, right here. The tag is kind of all shredded up, but other than that, it's fucking legit. Size large. Even on the back, it has like this little patch right here. It has a little patch right here. This le- oh man, it's made out of leather too. This little leather patch gear for sports. Pretty legit. Pretty legit, bros. Pretty legit. I don't know. Pretty legit shit. Alright. Almost done, guys. We only got like, I don't know how many more things. Let's just keep going. Fuck. Alright. Next up, we got this car heart. Motherfucking vest, Carhartt vest for the ladies. Carhartt vest for the ladies. This is size large. This is so sick. This is so dope. This is a rare color. I tried looking this up. There's probably like only like one thing on there with this color in it. 
It's like a nice maroon burgundy colorway. And it is like a Sherpa, or it's just like, it does have that, that liner inside of it. Make sure you got, look at this heavy duty as zippered and everything, man. Everything about this is like super heavy duty. Like if you buy this for me, this is gonna last you all your fucking life. You're gonna remember me all your fucking life because this is gonna fucking last you your whole fucking life. Because this, this is high quality shit right here. For the women, for women. Car heart for women, size large. Look at the deep pop. This does fit like a, this probably fits like a large and men's as well. It fits like a men's large as well. So look at the look at the measurements and check it. I tried it on and it's still too big for me. So and I'm a medium. So I know it fits probably like a large. All right, next up we got this. Or it might it might fit a medium. It might fit yeah, probably be a little stockier. It might fit a medium for for guys. All right, next up we got this. Um, 90s vintage single stitch Universal Studios t-shirt. Damn, look at that single stitch. Look at that single stitch. Look at that font. It does have like a little bit of black dot right there. It's like a little, 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 little fucking character right there. It's not, no, no big deal. It does have that old school Hanes tag. Size large. Nothing on the back. But god damn, Universal Studios back in the fucking 90s, bro. Doesn't get better than that, especially this color. This this, this, this colorway. It's meant for the summer. This shit is meant for the summer. Hit that motherfucker deep pop up. We out here. We out here. Slanging this vintage. Slanging this vintage. Alright, next up we got this. God damn, my voice is, my voice is, is dying, dog. My voice is dying. We got this crew neck from... The 90s, this is a UF, USC, 90s crew neck. Look how much cracking there is on it. There's a lot of cracking on it. Ooh. Even down here. Ooh. Too much cracking, bro. Too much cracking, bro. This is from a brand called, I don't want to butcher that, but that's what it's called. It's called Glad and Salt. Glad Salt. Uh, back of it, nothing, plain. You get the idea. You get the idea. Alright. Last two items. We're down to the last two items because these last two t-shirts, I kept them in my kept them in my, my closet because I don't want those specific t-shirts to get fucked up. I don't know, it's just because they kind of fit they fit me too. So if they don't sell in a while, I may have to fucking just rock them and keep them for myself. But we got these two vintage t-shirts left. Alright, let's start off with this one. This is a vintage. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1987. 1987. I don't know if you guys can see that. 1987, bro. 1987. Ninja Turtles. Panda Con. Oh, look at that. That was like fucking drop kicking me in my face. Look at that. Oh, man. That looks kind of cool. Oh, man. This is fucking sick, dude. This is like a masterpiece right here. And that old school, it's a size medium. Old school Hanes shirt. I haven't tried washing it, but it does have a little scuff right there, but I'm pretty sure that'll come off. Pretty sure that'll come off. But anyways, and it's a nice light gray shirt. Oh my God, man. So sick. So fucking sick. 1987, guys. All right, last for today. We got this from the year 2000. D12, Eminem, Detroit, rest in peace, proof. Who else was in it? Bazaar, I forgot all their names. McVay, I forgot all their names, but goddamn, Purple Pills, homie. D12, D Twizzy, Dirty Dozen, motherfucker. This is also size medium, and it does say it's from the year 2000 right here, man. I don't know if this shit's gonna, right there, 2000, year 2000. Boom, D12. God damn, I seriously want to keep this shit. I have it up on my Depop. If you guys want to cop it, you guys can, but if I don't sell it within two weeks, man, I think I'm just going to take it down and and just keep this shit, man, because D12 is fucking nostalgia, man. If you guys don't, if you guys didn't grow up with Eminem and D12, I don't know what you guys doing with your lives. On the back of it, there's nothing, but still, 
Oh my god, look at all the cracking that's on it too, man. Look at that nostalgia, look at that patina, dog. That fucking patina, bro. But anyways, guys, make sure to hit that deep pop up. Thanks, thank you guys for fucking sticking around and watching me. And until next time, goddamn, hopefully I don't drop a 30 minute video again next time. But anyways, man, thank you guys for fucking chilling with me. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and support the channel by buying something on my deep pop. Alright, take care.